And, uh, and John Ashcroft, our attorney general. John Ashcroft! Yeah. Fucking, he, that guy is the most Russian of all. That guy is the most Russian and Chinese of all the, of all of this entire cabinet. I mean, that's, uh, he's the attorney general. This is a guy who couldn't fucking get elected after he had served for four years in his home state, he lost the election to a dead man. <laughs> Did you know that? A John Ashcroft, he already served, and now he's running for election, lost to a guy who'd been dead for seven weeks. <laughs> the voters of his state, when faced with that choice, <laughs> in the voting booth were like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> that is tough, all right. Uh, Do I go with the right-wing religious fundamentalist nut or the rotting maggot-infested corpse? Hmm. Yeah, this is truly a lesser of two evils here. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Got to go with the corpse. Got to go with the corpse because that guy is fucking insane. That guy's nuts. That guy actually believes, he believes that calico cats are a sign of the devil. They're messengers or harbingers of the devil. Do you know that? He believes that. Your attorney general believes that black tabbies are harbingers of the devil. That's what he believes. And let's extrapolate that a little bit. That means that the attorney general actually believes in the devil. He believes in a little red guy in the big fiery fire and brimstone place that's way below us. We haven't figured it out, found where it is. I mean, it's billions and billions of light years. I think it takes like... I think it takes like uh, literally like uh, 17 million years to get there to hell or heaven, but it's somewhere down here, you know, somewhere way down here when you go straight down to it, unless of course the earth is rotated and then you have to go up and then around and then they, you know, because earth, uh, hell is always there. I don't think it just rotates with the earth. I'm not sure how that works, but uh, they didn't have science when they wrote the Bible, so they're fucking morons anyway, so they don't, so they're all guessing that it's down here. It's way below us. The prince of darkness got in a fight and got thrown out of heaven. And then, so that means he believes in devil guy with a fucking tail with a hook in it and horns, you know, and a pitchfork. He's a little guy with a pitchfork. <laughs> I'm the devil. <laughs> hey, devil, what do you got that pitchfork for? That's for, so I can do my hay work. All the hay that burns up on contact here in hell. No, all right, well, I'll tell you what it's for. My pitchfork is to give, give evildoers little pokes in the tuchus. <laughs> That's what it's for. That's what the pitchfork's for. <laughs> ah, Hitler. Ah, uh -uh, get back to gnashing your teeth. I'm the devil. Hee hee ha. Fucking. The devil wants your soul. When is that contest going to be over? When do they fucking calculate the souls in heaven and hell and they go, we got a winner. We got a winner. Contest is over. All right. It's absurd, man. And then he also believes, Ashcroft also believes. Well, yeah, you know, besides that other stuff, he gets anointed with cooking oil by his daddy every time he takes office because it's in the Bible. I don't understand this obsession with our dead bodies that we have. It's really strange to me. Like, people go, so would you rather be cremated or buried? I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I don't, you can fucking do whatever you want, man. I'm dead. <laughs> you know, I, I don't care because I can't. <laughs> you know? I mean, at least get some use out of my body, you know? Give it to a bunch of necrophiliacs or something. Yeah. And let them have a big old circle jerk over me. I don't give a shit. I'm not going to take it personally. I'm not going to be offended, you know? <laughs> Sit there and have a big old party. Just fuck me in the ass. Fuck me in the mouth. Fuck me in the eye hole, the ear hole. Make a new hole. Fuck me there. I don't care. It's like when people are like all concerned, they get upset, like there's an airplane crash and they're like, you know, you, you're not doing enough to find the bodies. You've got to find the bodies. I mean, if that happens to me, don't give a shit. Just don't look for my body. I mean, if it's that important to you, just, you know, smoke a pack of cigarettes, put the ashes in a urn and call it me, you know? <laughs> Good, everybody wins. All right. It's, it's so strange. And, and one of the most selfish things I think you can do, I mean, just really selfish, is not being an organ donor. I think that's crazy and awful. And I, I don't think 
anybody in the history of heaven has ever been up there going, God, I wish I didn't give up my kidneys. I gotta pee like a fucking racehorse, you know?